Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in today's video, we are going to see MCQs based on C Sharp, which is an important topic when it comes to your cluster 3. So we are going to see a lot of questions on that. Make sure to watch the video till complete end because by the end of this video, I have one DIY question for you, which I want everyone who is watching the video should comment down the answer in the comment box. And guys, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel and make sure to give it a like if you are finding this video helpful. So guys, let's get started with the first question. Let's look at this question. What is C Sharp primarily used for in .NET ecosystem? The options that we have are system programming, option B is web development, option C is mobile apps and option D is all of the above. So guys, the correct answer for this question is going to be option number D, which is all of the above. Okay. So the answer for this question is option D, all of the above. Basically, C Sharp is used for variety of applications within the .NET ecosystem, including system programming, web development, and mobile applications. Okay, so that is why we have selected the option as option D. Now let's move on to the next question. The next question that we have is who developed C Sharp? Okay, so guys, the options that we have are Microsoft, Google, Apple, and IBM. So guys, the correct answer for this question is option number. A, which is Microsoft okay answer for this question is option a Microsoft so C sharp was developed by Microsoft as a part of its dotnet initiative okay let's move on to the next question which of the following is a feature of C sharp the options that we have are a platform dependent B garbage collection C weekly type and D none of the above so guys the correct answer for this is going to be option number B which is garbage collection C sharp includes garbage collection to manage man memory automatically. Moving on to the next question. In which year was C sharp first released? Okay. The guys correct answer for this question is option number A, which is 2000. So guys, C sharp was first released in the year 2000. Okay. Moving on to the next question. What type of language is C sharp? Options are procedural, functional, object oriented or all of the above. So the correct answer for this is going to be option number C, which is object oriented uh, programming language. Okay. Moving on to the next question that we have, which of the following best describes the .NET framework? The options that we have is a hardware component, an operating system, a development platform and a database management system. So guys, the correct answer for this is going to be option number C, which is a development platform. Okay. The .NET framework is a development platform for building and running applications. Next question that we have is which language influenced the development of C sharp the most? The options that we have is Java, Python, C++ and PHP. The correct answer for this question is option number A which is Java. Okay. So guys C sharp was heavily influenced by the Java programming language. If like if you have also coded you must have like seen the similarities also. Next question that we have is what is the primary runtime used to execute execute c sharp programs the options that we have is jvm clr python interpreter and none of the above the correct answer is clr so c sharp programs are executed using clr which is also called as common language runtime moving on to the next question which of the following is the correct way to start a c sharp console application we have the options as first option is public static wide main Option B is public wide main, op option C is a static wide main and option D is wide main. That is the correct answer in this case is option number A, which is public static wide main. Moving on to the next question. If you receive a namespace not found error, which is likely cause, what is the likely cause? Okay. The options that we have here is incorrect file extension, missing using directive, typo in the class name and option D is missing semicolon. The correct answer is option number B, which is missing using directive. The namespace not found error typically occurs when the using directive for the namespace is missing. Okay. Moving on to the next question, which keyword is used to define a constant in Shisha? The options that we have is constant, const, read only and static. The correct answer in this case is going to be option number B, which is const. Okay. So const is your keyword, which is used to define a constant in Shisha. Moving on to the next question. What is the correct syntax for a single line comment in C sharp? We have different like options given like in uh, with which you can add a comment. The correct answers out of these is option number A. Okay. So option A is going to be the correct answer for this question. Next question that we have is 
which of the following is a valid identifier in C sharp? Options that we have is one variable, underscore variable, variable pound symbol, and then at the rate variable. The correct answer in this case is going to be option number B, which is underscore variable. Okay. In C sharp, identifiers can start with an underscore or a letter, but with uh, but not with a number or special character. Okay, so you have to remember that. Next question that we have is, how do you declare an integer variable in C sharp? The options are given here: int number, integer number, var number, or int colon number. So, guys, the correct answer is going to be option number A, which is int number. Okay. So, if you have to declare an integer variable in C sharp, you are going to use this syntax that is int number. Next question that we have is. Which keyword is used to prevent a class from being inherited in C sharp? The options that we have is sealed, static, final, and private. Now, guys, uh, out of these options, the correct answer is going to be option number A, which is sealed. Okay. So, answer A is the correct answer. Okay. Basically, the sealed keyword is used to prevent a class from being inherited. Okay. Now, guys, before we move on to the next question, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are finding this video helpful, please do give it a like. And by the end of this video, I have a one DIY question for you, for which you need to write down the comment, uh, write down the answer in the comment section. Okay, so the next question is, what is the output of console dot right line ten mod three in C sharp? Okay, so see guys, the correct answer for this one is going to be one. Okay, how come one? Basically, what this will evaluate to ten mod three. Okay, so mod operator what is does is it always returns the remainder so when i do 10 mod 3 it will do this okay 3 times 3 9 and 1 1 is the remainder so 1 will be the output for this question okay answer a is the correct answer for this one moving on to the next question what how do you define a method in c sharp we have the different options void method name option b method method name option c void method name and option d function method name so guys, the correct answer for this question is option number A, which is wide method name. Okay. Moving on to the next question. How do you write a for loop in C sharp? Okay. And we have different syntaxes given here for for loop. Let's see which one is the correct one. First of all, option A for int i equals to 0, i is less than 10, i plus plus. This seems correct so far. Let's explore other options also. Option B, i int i equals to 0, i is less than 10, but here the condition of increment or decrement is not at all mentioned so this cannot be the correct answer next option is for i in range 10 but the other things are not mentioned okay so this can also not be the one for i equals to 0 to 9 again this cannot be the one so the correct answer is option number a option a is the correct answer for this question moving on to the next question how do you create a new instance of class in c sharp the options that we have are option a my class of obj equals to new my class Option B, my class OBJ. Option C, my class OBJ equals to my class. Option D, new my class OBJ. So, guys, the correct answer for this question is going to be option number A. Okay. Basically, the correct way to create a new instance of a class is my class OBJ equals to new. Okay. So, new is always going to get used. Moving on to the next question. You get a missing semicolon error. What is the likely cause? The options that we have are option A, a line of code is missing, a semicolon at the end. Option B is incorrect class definition. Option C is invalid variable declaration. And option D is incorrect use of a keyword. So guys, this is very pretty clear with the error itself that we are missing a, line, a semicolon at the end okay, of the line. Moving on to the next question. You encounter a syntax error in your C sharp code. What would be the possible reason? The options that we have is missing brackets. Option B is misspelled keywords. Option C is incorrect use of operators. And option D is all of the above. So, guys, the correct op uh, option is option number D. That is all of the above. So, basically, syntax errors are caused by missing brackets, misspelled keywords, or incorrect use of operators. So, if you have any of these, you are going to get syntax error only. So, that is why we are, we are selecting the option, option number D. Next question that we have is, which of the following is a value type in C sharp? The options that we have are string, object, int, and array. So, guys, the correct answer in this case is option number C, that is int, okay? So, the correct answer for this question is option C. Basically, in C sharp, int is a value type, while string, object, and array are reference type. Moving on to the next question. What is the default value of a Boolean variable in C sharp? Here, we have the options as true, false, zero, and null. So, guys, in C sharp, the default value of a Boolean variable is always false, okay, by default. Moving on to the next question. 
which of the following is a reference type in C sharp? The options that we have is int, float, double and string. So guys, the correct answer for this question is going to be option number D, which is string. In C sharp, string is a reference type while int, float and double are value types. Moving on to the next question. What is the size of an int data type in C sharp? The options that we have are 2 bytes, 4 bytes, 8 bytes and 16 bytes. The correct answer is going to be option number B, which is 4 bytes. Okay. The size of int data type in C sharp is 4 bytes. That is why we are selecting this option. Next question that we have is what is the difference between int and double in C sharp? The options that we are given is first option is int is for integer values, double is for floating point values. Option B is int is for smaller values, double is for larger numbers. Option C is int is a reference type, whereas double is a value type. Option D is int is an immutable type, whereas double is a mutable type. That is the correct answer for this will be option number A because int is for integer values, whereas double is for floating point values. It is used in C sharp. Moving on to the next question, which data type would you use for a variable that needs to store a large text? The options that we have given are cat, string, string builder and text. The correct answer is option number C, that is a string builder. Okay. Moving on to the next question. How would you define a constant integer in C sharp? Options are constant int x equals to 10, const int x equals to 10, read only int x equals to 10, static int x equals to 10. Answer is option number B, which is const int x equals to 10. Moving on to the next question. Which of the following is the correct way to assign a value to a variable in C sharp? We have the given options as int x equals to 10, int x double equals to 10, int x colon equals to 10 and int x dash greater than 10. Okay. The correct answer is going to be option number A. This is the correct way to assign a value to a variable in C sharp. Moving on to the next question guys. Now this is the last question for today and this is a DIY question. I am not going to tell you the answer for this question. I will be reading out the question and you have to answer this in the comment box. So the question is, how do you declare a character variable in C sharp? We have the given options as char letter equals to A, char letter equals, just notice that the difference is in first one we are using double quotes, in second we are using, sing, uh, in first one we are using single quote, in second double quotes, in third no quotes and in fourth one 65 value. So make sure that you comment down the answer of this question. So that's all for today guys. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Make sure to join me on Telegram and Instagram as well. You can ask your queries in the Instagram DM as well. And if you need any content, you can request it on your on our Telegram channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet to receive all the latest regular updates. I regularly post off campus drives and preparation related videos for placements on my channel. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching the video.